after our 12 hour stop in Taipei, where we managed to do an amazing mini tour of the city, we finally made it to Yukako's hometown and boy, this is when our adventures begin. We got yesterday to Hiroshima and we were super late so we go straight to bed. Today we are going to Miyajima, it's probably one of the most famous things to do in Hiroshima. I have been there already but today we are going like with more time to go see the deers, have nice lunch there, maybe even hike all the way to the top. So yeah, let's go and check it out today, shall we? This is officially my first cherry blossom and I can tell you it's gorgeous. This is so beautiful. I think this season is oh, it's definitely the best one to come and visit in Japan. Now I'm convinced. At the beginning I was like, oh, it's just flowers. No. It looks beautiful. I can't imagine a place where heaps of these ones, it must be mind-blowing. In our way to Miyajima, we are stopping in a little mall with uh, some traditional shops. Through the highways, there are normally a lot of these small malls where you can buy convenience food. It's actually quite tasty and a lot of souvenirs specific to the area that you are in. So totally recommended. So we are here about to take the Miyajima ferry. Let's go. That's the famous Miyajima shrine. People can get actually close to it because of the low tide right now. So now we are in Mije Miyajima. Miyajima Island, which is famous, I think, for three things. One, the deers, second, oysters, and third, Miyajima Shrine, which is <laughs> like the only shrine that is inside the ocean. So we are gonna take a look at the three of those things. Probably the first one is gonna be the restaurant because we are hungry. Yeah, let's go! Another thing awesome about this place is the street food. Lots of street food are around and you can just walk, lots of small shops. This is super traditional in Japan, they will expose the food outside with all these mocks. We're gonna have lunch in this place which is famous because of the super oysters, so let's take a look. That was just as good as I remembered it. If you like oyster, this is the place. Like, no, I won't see you. This looks much nicer when there's actually water in here. I'll show my, like my previous visit, but yeah, another way of looking at this, I guess. This time, instead of going into this shrine, we decided to take the cable way all the way to the top. And apparently the view is pretty good, so let's see. Uh, to get there, you can get a, free shuttle to get into the cable way you need to pay like $45 <laughs> so keep that in mind hiking it is like two hours it's actually not not $45 it's $45 per person oh no <laughs> for two people <laughs> Once you get all the way to the top after two cable ways, you still need to walk like one kilometer to the top of the summit. Uh, now we are going there, but to be honest, the nature is super beautiful. I think I would love to do the hike someday. Really, really nice cherry blossoms. Let's see how is the top. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. 
So we came all the way to the top and there's a nice observatory. You can look all the way around. It's for free. The view is super nice, so super recommended and now we are going down again. So this was after the hike and you can see already it's getting close to the shrine. <laughs> This super sushi train but it's, it's probably the biggest sushi train that I have seen in my life and it was pretty good so recommend it. In the next episode we are going to start our road trip around rural Japan and I cannot wait to show you the amazing things that there are around rural Japan so make sure to subscribe if you haven't because you really don't want to miss the next episodes and if you like this video be sure to give it a super like. Mm -hmm.